Hey, what's up everybody? It's Fred over at the Steel Mace Nation and wanted to do a quick video because um, getting a lot of questions, people are asking me a, a lot of fitness tips. You know, a lot of people just looking about how they can lose weight and, um, and get in better shape. And a lot of this, you know, as I'm talking to people and just things I'm hearing and seeing online, uh, a lot of this is, is COVID related. Um, people were already not doing any exercising. They weren't eating well to begin with and they had some bad habits, you know, maybe uh, a little too much drinks and stuff like that. And um, now that we're all the way into November and COVID is still around and there's still issues with being able to, uh, you know, basically go back to a, like a, what we had as a normal life before, um, people are still doing the, the the bad stuff, the the eating and everything. And emotional eating is, is what most people are doing. And um, emotional eating is essentially, you're bored, you eat, you're sad, you eat, you're happy, you eat. Um, eating is really an awesome thing. Uh, we like to socialize around our food. There's nothing better than sitting down at a delicious dinner with really cool people and having awesome conversation. Everybody's in a good mood. Um, you're rolling with it. it. It's it's a great thing. It's an awesome way to socialize, and uh, you know people look forward to their to their meals. Like, hey, I'm having lunch today with so and so. It's gonna be fun. Hey, I can't wait till dinner Friday night. We're all gonna get together and we're gonna have a good time. Um, so it's it's a center point in our life. And here's here's what's going on though. We're we're doing that, and then we're sitting in front of the the, the TV and we're like looking over at the kitchen because we hear that little voice you know that little voice you hear it and you're come eat me eat me and it's whatever's in that kitchen whatever's in that kitchen that's talking to you and it's saying eat me it ain't good <laughs> it ain't good yeah you're gonna run over there you're gonna grab the jar of peanut butter and just go to town on it um, we all do it and uh, sometimes it gets a little we get a little carried away. Other times we gotta reel it in. So uh, just th as far as a fitness tip is concerned here is cut back on that shit. Stop eating, stop doing the emotional eating. Rec for, before you bite into any food, just think for two seconds, why am I eating this? Am I really hungry? And if I am, am I making the best choice right now? If you're really, really hungry, and you feel like you need something is you know oreo cookies or a half a jar of peanut butter the right choice or is it smarter to make like a turkey sandwich and have a salad with some fat-free dressing on it and like uh maybe a diet coke or something like that you know what i mean like think about it for a second don't don't just start shoveling in i i know what it's like because i've done it I still do do it, and I will continue to do it. But, you know, you got to sometimes just say, hey, enough is enough here. Why am I eating this? If you notice you're picking up food and you're not even hungry, that's emotional eating. You're bored, man. So you need something to do with yourself. And if reading a book isn't good or um, having a conversation with somebody isn't good or going for a walk isn't good, you gotta keep exploring until you find it. But I'll tell you right now, going for walks, riding bikes, um, getting outdoors and playing tennis, um, going to the gym and working out. If you're afraid to go to the gym, or I don't wanna say afraid, uh, if you are cautious about going to the gym and you, you don't feel comfortable right now, you can work out at home. You know what I'm gonna say. You could just buy a mace online and it'll be delivered to your house. You could order a 10 pound mace and like a 25 pound kettlebell. And you know, it, oh, I don't, I can't afford it. Oh, it's too expensive. Yeah, that's bullshit. You, you can't afford it because um, most of the stuff that you buy, most of the stuff that we buy as society is throwaway plastic shit anyway. It doesn't last forever. Our phones cost a fortune and they don't last forever. But a kettlebell, 
and a mace will last you forever. You can leave them outdoors. If they rust, they will still have weight to them. You could drop them off of your roof and they will still be fine. A 25 pound kettlebell and a 10 pound mace and follow along some workout videos and you could do them in your living room, your basement. Oh, you can't do it in your basement? How come I could do it in my basement? Yeah, I hit my ceiling a lot, but I have to remember to just open up my stance and bend my knees a little bit, but I could still do it, all right? I shot an entire workshop, a video workshop in my basement um, that you can follow along to. So, you know, you can do it. Don't make excuses up. Don't say, I can't afford it, I can't do it. You, can't, you cannot afford not to. Um, your health is slipping away from you. Your youth is always slipping away from you, no matter what you do about it, unless you could fly like Superman around the, the earth and spin it backwards and go back into time. But you don't want your health and your, your youth slipping away from you um, together at the same time at an astronomical rate where you're packing on 10, 15, 20 pounds. I'm telling you right now, if you keep going with the COVID eating and the feeling sorry for yourself stuff and making up excuses stuff, what's gonna happen is you're gonna put on 20 pounds and it might even turn into 25 pounds. Who knows when the hell all this is gonna be all over with? Who knows when you're gonna be able to go back to a normal life, okay? Um, all I can tell you is, if you don't jump on this now, everything will slip away from you. And you'll wake up one day and go, holy shit, I'm really fat and I'm really atrophied. I have no muscle, tons of fat, and my joints are killing me. I can't even go up and down the stairs. I get winded when I go up and down the stairs. I feel like shit all the time. I'm tired and sore all the time and I don't even do anything. Who the hell wants to live that way? Stop it, stop the madness get after it you know what to do go get yourself a mace get yourself a kettlebell if you really can't afford those things then go pick up a rock a brick some chains in your garage have your wife steer the car and you push the car down the street do something go for a walk get a dog and take your dog for three hour walks and stop eating the shit all right guys I hope this helps. Um, send me any DMs if you want any fitness tips or anything like that. And uh, make sure you check out SteelMaceNation.com. If you become a member over there, there's workout videos, there's daily workouts. Um, there's the 21 day Steel Mace Challenge. And like, we're like this close, like right here with um, having that workshop up and available. Um, I'm probably gonna have the workshop on Facebook as well. Who knows, we'll see. Uh, you guys know, I'm, I'm a fireman for a living, so doing these videos and setting things up online and doing workshops and stuff like that is like a lot of extra juice I gotta squeeze to make that happen. I don't mind doing it, I love it, that's why I do it. But uh, the way I do things is like totally by the seat of my pants. Um, I'm not one of these perfect uh, YouTube guys out there where it has like a high production thing going on. I got my phone and I got my stand that's holding the phone and I do some editing program on my phone that is like half-assed and I love it. I love doing it that way and um, I'm not going to say, oh, make sure you sub click subscribe and, and, and down here press the bell and over here hit a like and over here, like I hate all that shit. Why do people got to do that? You're either going to subscribe or you're not going to subscribe. Ah, all right, see you later.